Uh, but for this time around, again, we're focused on mammoth. We're in the sky, and I just couldn't pass up shooting the sunset today, so. The slower the shutter, the smoother the water looks. The faster the shutter, you're stopping the water in motion. And I'm gonna finish off this video with the top five things you should do in Mammoth during the spring, summertime. What is up, everybody? We are here uh, on our way to Mammoth for the 4th of July. Stopped at Alabama Hills. Alabama Hills, I need to enunciate better. Um, that was the drone footage you guys just saw. Really cool spot. We, we just went up to a camping spot. No one's here because it's like 90 degrees. And uh, wanted to show you guys a little bit of what it looks like. It's a, it's a cool place right off Lone Pine. We're gonna drive to this rock that I'm sure if you're on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen before. I'm sure at some point in the future, I will be here covering trails and, and other things. Uh, but for this time around, again, we're focused on Mammoth. We're gonna be staying in a center in the village and uh, be doing some hiking and things like that. The video that I made uh, of Mammoth, kind of a vlog, last year, um, one of the things I talked about is stopping at Eric Schatz Bakery. Absolutely delicious. Um, as you guys saw there, fresh baked daily. Uh, would really recommend you stop here and get some food on your way up to Mammoth. staying at the West End. Technically it's an Airbnb, but it's interesting that you can like buy one of the rooms and then it's yours and then we did an Airbnb for it. So got the pool view, everything. Um, we gotta go get some food, walk around the village a little bit, hang out the rest of the day. And then tomorrow morning, Rainbow Falls, looking so forward to that. Hello wife. We're gonna call it a night uh, after dinner, just kind of hang out. But there are some really nice clouds in the sky and I just couldn't pass up shooting the sunset today. So we are here at my favorite, one of my favorites, Twin Lakes. Um, if you guys have seen my videos here I'm before, you know I come here to shoot a lot. And uh, last time it was frozen over, but look at it. This time, freaking gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. So we have some light at the top of the peaks here that I like a lot. 
and a lot of clouds kind of facing that way, whatever direction that is, we're gonna start shooting a little bit. It's a little windy, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Being able to shoot with the drone here was by far the best thing to do. When you're shooting here at the lakes, a wide angle tends to be a better option unless you really want to zoom into something. But a place like Convict Lake, which has those rocks on the shallow part of the water, make for a really nice composition. Here, not too much. There is cloud, but it's really beyond the hills here and not much on this side. So being able to fly the drone high up, move it over, I got some really, really nice shots that I'm happy with, uh, but not too many with, um, our Sony champion today, which is fine. We got a few more days. It's time to head back. This hike just started and it is so freaking gorgeous. Um, what a stressful morning, honestly. What a stressful morning. Um, drove up to Red's Meadow National Forest, was told you can't drive in. You can only do the shuttle. Started on July 2nd. So we had to go back to like Main Canyon uh, where the Woolly Mammoth is, pay the shuttle tickets, which were 30 bucks for the three of us. There's no additional fee because we have a National Parks Pass, which covers the entrance to the National Forest. So something to note. Now, that guy did tell me that if you come before 7 a.m., you can drive. So if you're looking to do that, you gotta be in before 7 a.m. Frustrating because nobody tells you anything. It's like, I'm running a line to get on the bus and the guy's like, dogs need a muzzle to get on the bus. I'm like, what am I supposed to get a muzzle? They sell it at the little store. It was just a nightmare. And it's about a 45 minute drive down here. Very worth it, but oh, I didn't know any of these details. And uh, hopefully this saves you a little bit of a pain. If you're coming, you know, with kids, you need tickets, dogs, you need a muzzle on the bus only. Uh, take a look at this. 